Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame Yasha'ala, koholo yimla yihawa basim yawashai, baha shimra kaha kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Aki and Menachwaf that saw here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basim Yawashai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Very interesting article that I've seen in The Guardian. Politics, mass production of genetically selected humans. Inside of Pennsylvania, pronatalist candidates, fantasy city, city state. And so as I was reading through it, you know, typical Edomite shit. Let's define this word pronatalist real quick. Relating to the policy or practices of encouraging people to have children. And we understand that, you know, Esau falling off so cold and so hard because the Lord has made them, you know, he's, he's, he's really making them small among the heathen. Matter of fact, scripture talks about that. Let me grab that real quick. Uh, so like, yeah, I was trying to see if they had the video on that particular article, but they don't. But it doesn't matter. We can read through some of the important points. But believe me, when they're talking about um, breeding children, they're they're breeding them to their their standard, you know, and what they want. And and trust me, they're not thinking about you so-called blacks, Hispanics or Native Americans. <laughs> trust me. So. They ended up getting caught up, really. I guess somebody had heard about them and. They was acting as if they were like a billionaire company or something like that to that extent. But really, in reality, it was a, 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 a it was a hoax, so to speak. It was it, it was one of those, you know, activist backdrop uh, reporters or journalists that, you know, kind of snuck into their realm, so to speak, and extract all this information that pretty much were about to read. So really, they were fooled. They were duped into thinking that somebody was actually going to put some money behind them. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah 49 and 15. Well, Obadiah is what I want. Obadiah 1 and 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou, thou art greatly despised. And see, Esau is falling off. They're dying off quicker than they're being born. We've been seeing article after article after article on that. Matter of fact, Joe Biden, a few years back, he was talking about that and he was talking about how you so-called black should be helping, <laughs> you know, the so-called white race because we're going to be outnumbered and America is going to become, um, you know, we're going to become the, the, the minority, so to speak, you know, and you people, y'all go run out here and y'all vote for these people, man. Y'all don't be knowing what's going on, man. But this is really going on in the backdrop. Let me go back to lock you. So we'll read some of this. Because it's, it's quite a long article. I don't want to get it all. And they're running for office. It says, um, when Simone Co Collins, a Republican running for the seat of Pennsylvania State Legislature, and her husband, Malcolm, were privately asked last year about their ideas for the model for Natalist city-state, they sensed an opportunity with their own YouTube channel, online education, education platform, and foundation. The couple are among the most high profile and outspoken pro proponents of the pronatalist cause, which is centered on the belief that the developed world is facing a demogra demographic collapse and that birth rates must rise to stave off disaster. She's talking about their race because everybody else having babies. What do you mean? There's billions of people on the planet. They're the ones that's not being born. They're the ones that's, you know, you know, doing, you know, calling that 988 number the most. If you know the, the 9888 number, the delete myself number. They're the ones that's deleting themselves. They're the ones that's um, ODing on, 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 on these drugs the most. You know what I'm saying? It, it's them. And then the so-called white man has made it so hard for his own people to actually have children and actually enjoy them. That people are just like, nah, I'm good. Especially th this, this new generation of so-called white women. Have you seen them? They, they no different than a so-called black woman. They don't want nothing to do with no babies like that, man. Now, don't get me wrong. You do have couples out here like this couple right here. I see them all the time. But it's 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 not an explosion in that world anymore. You got the um the, the so-called white woman. She she wants to go and get educated. 
She wants to go and, you know, have her career. By the time she's 30, she's, you know, made a little money. She's got a little six figures, you know, whatever, whatever. She's still living alone, got her own apartment, you know, whatever. It's a townhouse. She, she, she's working towards not buying her a house. She might meet somebody along that path. They both have the same ideas. And then they don't do it until they're like 40 years old. This couple right here, man, who knows? They got three children. It's not. I'm not sure how old they are. But this is not your typical so-called white woman or so-called white man for that matter. And they're pretty much overall, even when it comes to, the, you know, what she's talking, what they're talking about, as far as what I've read in the story thus far. They don't even want nothing to do with the dirt bags or the trailer trash of their people. They like, I oh, forget that we, you know, pretty much they want people that they deem to be like them successful. You know, so it's kind of like a, um, a gene pool of the best because they talk about sending these kids to summer camps and letting them meet and marry and all kinds of shit but anyway let's read some more it says the couple who have four children only see three in this picture am i tripping okay well maybe it's another one somewhere else the couple who who have four children who approached last year by an individual posing as a see here we go it was an individual posing as a wealthy donor willing to finance their work in response to his request they created a 15 page slide that can title the next empire see not knowing that this is somebody that that just poor as hell and fool the asses into giving up that information um and matter of fact let's get this one too because esau is starting to tell on themselves that's that psalm 64 and 8 a lot of information is coming out on you so-called white people these days so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So they're, they're telling on themselves. Because I'm sure the, the people that duped them for this information are so-called white people too. So why aren't they all getting together on it? And that goes off into um, you know, Matthew uh, 12 and 25 because this place is so um, divided. You got the, the Egyptian against the Egyptian right now. And it's only going to get worse on that tip too. Can't wait. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And that goes even off into all these low birth rates because Esau can't stand each other. They can't get along. They can't come together. Hey, these Democrats and these Republicans about to go to they ready for civil war. That's how divided the, um, um, the so-called white man is in this country. Then you have um, race wars. You have um, class wars. You have gender wars, man on woman wars. Men don't want to deal with the women like how they used to. The women don't want to deal with the men like how they used to. And it's all because of Esau Edom, the so-called white man. He, he has created his own problem, his own demise, his own destruction pretty much overall. You know, through the spirit and power of the by Shemiah Washah, of course. But this place is through, man. Even you know it's through when they're trying to do stuff like this. This is their their last scratching, you know. Their, you know their, their, you know that 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 person that's just you know that's been slipped off that cliff, and you see how the arms be moving like as if they're trying to grab something. They just they grasping that air. It's nothing they can do. It's it, it's the last hoorah for their asses. You're not gonna make America great again. You're not gonna build back better. This place is is, is circling the, the toilet and it's is doing just what the Lord wanted it to do. Because the, the end of Esau's world is now. It's happening now. Right? So it says they had a 15-page um, slide deck entitled The Next Empire, which these people duped their stupid asses into giving up the info. Um, leveraging a, ch a changing world to save civilization. It contained ideas that seemed plucked out of a dystopian science fiction movie. According to their presentation, the city-state they env envisioned or vi envisaged would become a magnet for the no-holds-barred medical research which in turn would open the door to the mass production of genetically selected humans see as they see and this is how esau thinks they they think as if they're the ones that should be choosing who lives and who dies you know so to speak because he has that god-like complex that's that second thessalonians um let's get that real quick Second Thessalonians two and four, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. See, he has that God complex. 
you know, they, they storm around the world with white Jesus, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and get to talking to people about, you know, their democracy and how you should live. You know, you should sleep eight hours a day, drink eight glasses of water a day. You need to eat this amount of food, this amount of calories. You need this much salt in your diet, this, this, you know, and they want you to believe that they're the ones that created all things and, 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 you know, got the all seeing eye cameras all over your damn neighborhood using your ring doorbell to spy on your silly ass. You know, this is, this is them. They have that that one that that want to know all things, and their next step is this. This is no different, really, than you know, uh, somewhat of the you know Revelation thirteen and sixteen, where it talks about um that chip, that mark of the beauty and the beast, that 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 implant that they want to put into you. Because if they're going this far, as far as um genetically um um engineered uh uh what are they saying um selected people, so to speak. It wouldn't be so far fetched that they, they're going to um, implant these people so they can keep up with them. And we, we understand that this is just the elite's way of thinking anyway. But you've got this this general ass Edomite uh, 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 a couple with their four kids and a damn dog coming up with shit like this and running for office. That could actually win, you know, the, and, and, and can, can you imagine the, the, the thought pattern of a person like this being in office? And you're just they're just taking taxes from you and making rules for your silly ass. Come on, bro. This place is through and, and we need out of here. But this right here is just another. um. You know, I applaud this, though. I say they get down, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just one step closer to um their kingdom collapsing and, and our Lord coming. Right. So it says what else they got? Uh, The voting rights of citizens of the city state will be linked to their value to, to society so who says who, who measures the, your value to society who measures that according to the um colonist presentation the proposed city state government would have incentive sy systems that grant more voting power to creators of economically productive agents and would be run by a single executor which the proposal also called a dictator which that, that's your boy donald trump right there which I think these people, they, they're, they're, you know, they're on that, that team of Donald Trump, so to speak, with full control of government's laws and operational structure. Yeah, they, they talking about Trump here. The executor would be replaced every four years by three wards, according to the slide that wards would be elected by previous executors. Ah, these people, boy. It may appear that the colonists. Views are so far outside the mainstream that one could shrug our pronouncement of eccentric and alarmist. But the Collins are part of a movement they call the New, the new Right, which rejects some aspects of traditional conserv conservatism and builds itself a prag pragmatic, family-oriented, and anti-bureaucratic -bureau Slovakia. They staunchly support the, the Republican ticket, Donald Trump, yep, I just said that, and J.D. Vance and billionaire Elon Musk. Last year, Malcolm Collins said they thought the Isle of Man would be the best place to begin. I actually think that's the most viable place to do it. You're near the center of Europe. See, I'm telling you, they're thinking about their own people. They're not thinking about you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But guess what? They'll tax the shit out of you to fund whatever they got going on. You're in a rapidly depopulating area. Why is Europe rapidly depopulating? Because the Lord is doing it. You're not going to bring. The Lord is the father of spirits, man. Let me see. Let me let me put it. Let me see. Let's get that. You're not the father of, of spirits. You can't bring no spirit into this world that the Lord don't want into this world. But this is the power that Esau is trying to exhibit. Now, let me see. Maybe I should have put father of spirits. Yep. Um, Hebrews 12 and 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be a subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? So the point that I wanted to make is that the Lord, Yahweh, that's the true name of the Father, He is the creator and, and, and the Father of spirits. You can't bring a child into this world. The Lord is the one that kills and makes a lie. Let's get that in Deuteronomy. Um, see, Esau, he he wants to build, you know, he, he you, this man, he, He's really he he really in the laboratory, man. This man is really Dr. Um, um, Dr. Evil in that lab, man. He's trying to create his own life form. Now he can, you know, 
performance little things on the left hand side but what he doesn't know is the lord is the one that's 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 giving him the knowledge to actually do the left hand shit he doing so he's he, he's in a trick bag deuteronomy 32 and 39 see now that i even i am he and there is no god with me i kill and i make alive i wound and i heal neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand you're not going to get around that. But see, this is what they're trying to circumvent. You know, in that Tower of Babel type bullshit. And the Lord is only, and matter of fact, what that scripture say, um, they uh, they shall build. We was already in there too. I was, uh, that was earlier. Yeah, this man got that. Got that, that. That God complex, man. He's a nasty piece of work, boy. Yeah, it was Malachi 1 and 4, Salakia. Wherefore, Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build. The desolate places. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. The Lord don't like you. He's cutting your lifespan short. He's cutting down your, your birth rate. He's cutting down your 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 you know your economies and your your he's cutting down your whole shit right now. And it's about to come to an abrupt end. Well, let's go back. Let's see what else they got in here. It's quite an article. I can't read it all, but they talking about okay, the um the most viable place would be the center of Europe. You're in a rapidly de um, depopulating area. You can tell them. You can tell them. Look, this will obviously bring a lot of technology and investment to your country. But the great thing about the proposal like this is, even if they turn it down, you can take it to other countries. Malcolm told the man purporting to be an investor at the time. The funding never materialized and the proposal was never pitched to the Isle of Man, a British crown dependency located in the Irish Sea, because the man who claimed to be a wealthy investor was actually an undercover researcher with Hope Not Hate, a UK-based anti-racism group. <laughs> so see, that's that division. A shared video recordings of the encounters with the Collins and the copy of their presentation with the Guardian. So they was duped out of this information. See, and, and that's actually kind of creepy to a lot of Republicans. You know what I'm saying? They now the, the elite of them, of course. Yeah, they're the ones that's got some money, the ones that's got some power. But these ones that's running it behind Trump, that's just, you know, you know, from your trailer trash to your ones that, you know, your so-called middle class, the ones that really want to just go back to get, you know, riding on their jet skis in the summer and. Jumping in their RV and being able to, you know, go on that family vacation with the dog. You know, those, no, nah, they they not with no shit like this, man. They're not with this. Okay, it says, asked about the slide deck in an interview with The Guardian last week in their home in Auburn, Audubon, Pennsylvania. Simone and Malcolm, who work together and appear rarely to be apart, acknowledged that their proposal wasn't supposed to be public. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't. But Simone Collins nevertheless says she stood by his core tenets 100%, including the idea of mass producing embryos and giving people who they deem to be less productive members of society less voting power. So like I said again, so who, who decides that? Because the person might, might deem you as being nothing. <laughs> you see? But this is the way that these elite Edomites think. So just think about a person like this or these people. They probably, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they probably... Um, Sitting pretty, pretty nice. They, you know, didn't look like a bad place in the backdrop. You know, as far as like this house. Let me see here. See, see where they live in that look like a nice old ass cottage, probably some slave land, you know, so they, they don't appear to be doing bad themselves. But, you know, the regular, the, these regular Edomites not going for no shit like that. Let me see. Uh. Yep, they said if you're draining resources, you you should have less influence. <laughs> Asked about how it felt to be the subject of an under, undercover research, Malcolm 
Collins said, the experience was quite validating for both us and our movement. Now I think it's pretty clear that the, despite us not socially isolating people with toxic views, the worst views we actually have are being slightly elitist and weird eccentrics, which isn't exactly surprising to anyone. Goddamn weirdos running the earth, bro. The couple say their ideas were meant to be... Hey, they kind of sound like uh, Margaret Sanger, uh, the, the chick that, you know... Um, you know, that, that wants you, you so-called black women to go out here and hit them Planned Parenthoods. The couple say their ideas were meant to be experimental and fit for a city state, not a democracy such as the U.S. But the views are not dis dissimilar to ones expressed by one of Simone's and Malcolm's political heroes, the Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance. In a, tw in a July 2021 speech, Vance said parents should be given advantage and more power in the voting process than those who don't have children. See? Simone Collins previously worked as a managing director of Dialogue, which she describes as an exclusive secret society confounded by Peter Thiel. Uh, yeah, you hear that name all the time. Thiel, the PayPal founder, helped launch and fund Vance's political career and has supported the right wing blogger Curtis Yervin, who is who in 2012 said he believed the U.S. should install a monarchy and get over their dictator phobia. See, who do we do target the elites? The Collins often describe their pernatalist agenda in humanitarian terms, part of the wider bid to save the developed world from impending social and economic catastrophe. Their website outlines their desire to work with any person or organization that shares our goal to preserve as much of civilization as many cultures as possible. See, they're talking about the so-called white race. They're not talking about you think they're thinking about Chinese people. When they know the Chinese are over there in the billions, but they 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 birth rate is even um, dwindling. You think they're thinking about the Japanese? Their birth rate is even dwindling. All these nations' um, birth rates are dwindling. The only nation of people that's uh, that's prospering like that, and and you know, is the Israelites, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and they always coming up with a way to try and cut your ass off. But guess what? You reap what you sow. You've been trying to cut us off for so goddamn long to the point where now your ass is fighting to um, stay stay alive. And, and it's just really, this thing is just really coming to an abrupt end. That's all that it is. Esau's kingdom is is dwindling. This is more proof of it. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, your how is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the so-called white race, they have all been in, in in this shit together as far as killing off the Israelites, man. Why do you think Kamala is running so hard on you hitting Planned Parenthood? To you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Why do you think they push so hard for the so-called black man to not be in that household by offering you food stamps in Section 8? You know, we ain't gonna even talk about the drugs, the the the, the guns. You know, all these things that they push systematically on our people to destroy themselves and fill these damn prisons with our men and women. Because the, the, the women's prison is just as full with Israelite women as the men's prison is with men. So they're trying to stop the birth rates of us. But re in reality, it ha it's done nothing but fall back on their asses because you reap what you sow. So now let's get this to prove that it's talking about um, nations as well. This is Job 34 and 29 because the Lord, he deals with nations. He bring nations up and he bring nations down and he set Esau up. He brought them up and set them on this high pedestal to only knock the asses off. And that's what you're witnessing. Job 34 and 29, when he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only? So the Lord, he deals with nations. He brings them, he sets them up, he brings them down. Matter of fact, we can get that in Daniel right here, 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of, of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high, Yahweh ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to, giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men. He has set up Esau, Edom, the basis, the lowliest of all the humans that he created to show you his power. Because these people are, are the least 
of all the, the nations, man. But the Lord set them up in power to show you that I'm so powerful. I can set up the, 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 the dumbest of people. What you going to do about it? Nothing. So now, you know, <laughs> their, their course is run and, and they're trying to hang on to that power. And, and, and it's and it's slipping away. It just is what it is, man. Okay, so um, it says, but the recordings made by hope, not hate. Malcolm describes their pronatalist agenda as being principally designed to transform the current socioeconomic elite into a future biological elite. Exactly. It's easy to forget how small the population of people in the world who actually impact anything or matter is. Yeah, these people, man, what they they're saying one percent. Hell, I say it's less than that. But they're running the planet. But they're all Edomites. When we do our campaigns, we work really aggressively on how do we spread ideas within the narrow network, because also they are the people who they are the people we want having kids and we want in the future. When we talk to reporters, we're very, oh, this isn't just for the elite. But in truth, we do target the elites. Ha ha. Unfortunately. Yeah. Malcolm said he and his wife are working to create a network of other pernatalist families with whom their children can go to summer camp, grow up alongside knowing this isn't weird and what we're doing and ultimately marry. But this goes with this goes beyond the average desire to find family friends with shared values and be part of the community. What I'm really trying to do is ensure that my kids have an, an isolated and differential breeding network, he said. See? The so-called elites appears to be a central preoccupation for the Collins, and it is and is a theme they return to repeatedly and unprompted. The very few families, and I think we might be talking about 100, 500 families in the world today who are high fertility and really tech, techno, techno, technologically engaged and economically engaged on the future of our species. See, when the Guardian asked the Collins about the remarks, Malcolm said they were not incongruent with other with our other messages and that they were better off convincing Taylor Swift to have kids than John Doe on the street if we want to create ripple effect society while leading to more kids. See? And let me see what else. I mean, it, it's quite, like I said, it's quite an article. You pretty much get the gist of it. And when you go into the comment boards, the people are not with it. You know, because cause, cause Esau... See, see, Esau knows these are the ones that's in the comment boards. They're really the ones that's going to go out and vote for Trump because they know that they're losing. You know, they, they like I said, they just want their jet skis back. They, they want to be able to, you know, hop up into their F-150, you know, put their ladder up to the door and climb up into that, 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 that mud. Dirty ass F-150 that they drive and, and be able to say, hey, look, we're, we're, we're I'm proud to be an American and, and, and you know. I just want to hit the lake and, you know, just do the shit that Edomites do. Those, those, those lower class ones. Those are the ones that's looking at this shit like, ah, what the fuck are these people talking about? Who are you? And that's when they get to talking about government, 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 our government, our government trying to do this to us, our government trying to do this to us, our government. But they'll never say that it's our people that's fucking us over. Because these are Edomites. These are so-called white people that's doing this. See, so they're telling you they're targeting the, the elite, but the elite would take their their ideas, strip them of them and, 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 and throw the asses into a dungeon. Like you're not on the level of no damn elite. The elite already got that process. Down. Matter of fact, you may even, you know, just got traces of your little bullshit ideas from them. They've been doing this. They've been they've been ready to rock out. But the crazy part is, is this bitch is running for um, what she's running for. Simone Collins runs to represent Pennsylvania's 150th district in the state's House of Representatives. Okay. She acknowledges that her odds of success are low. Yeah, I don't think you win in that. Says, but she's a big supporter of Donald Trump. Uh. Yeah, but hey, this is what they believe in. And like I said again, hey, look, they, 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 see Esau, they're hanging on and trying to really just. They're, they see that they're losing that spit. They, they know in the spirit that they're losing. 
and, and, and it's a hard fall for them. They can't take it. But when the real part of it comes, like when they're completely, completely, completely out of power, man, what a day. What a day. It's not going to be a ooh. And we talking about the elite of them. The ones that's been sitting on these trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars forever that have never done a day's work in their life. When they fall, when they fall, so you know the ones, the trailer trash ones, they it's gonna they already just on complete. They have no idea that they got some more falling to do themselves. <laughs> but you know, they just feeling like the elite of their people are not that have left them out of the prize, so to speak. They're not sharing. They're not sharing with their people. And it is what it is, man. So I, I seen this. I thought it was interesting. It was a little more, bit more to the story. But you can clearly see these right here. Some, These are the people that you would have to... If, say, for instance, you if you had to go to the doctor as a so-called black person. And one of these people were your doctor. Or they were your, you know... They, they're administering you. They have to, you know, do a surgery on you. Or administer you medicine. You know? How 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 good of a job do you think that they would do for you as opposed to their own people? Just asking, just saying. These are the people that our people trust on a day-to-day -day basis. This motherfucker could be your police officer, could be your um your lawyer in a in a serious case. You know, things that really matter to you, you know, that could change your life within a you know forever, within seconds, and they're they're in charge of it. They're not going to look out for you like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it just is what it is. And that's with all Edomites. You know, we, you know, we place our, that's why it's so important to trust in, in the Lord. Place your trust in Yahweh about Shimei was shy, man. Because once you place your trust in, in Yahweh about Shimei was shy, he can move these people to do whatever he wants them to do. Because man's goings of the Lord. He he puppet master the shit out of these people. You know, no one is out here making moves like that. You know what I'm saying? On their own. The Lord knows all things. He knows the heart of man. He, he he can easily have. Matter of fact, the scripture says that he makes the poor. Matter of fact, I'll end with that. The Lord is all powerful, man. That's the reason why you trust in him and not in men. Don't trust in these people. Trust in the Lord. And he'll use these people to do what he wants them to do to get the results that you're trying to, um, that you're praying for. Psalms, I'm mean, so lucky. First Samuel chapter two, verse six. The Lord killeth and make up the lie. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggars from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he hath set the world upon them. So the Lord is in control of all things, man. That's why it's so important to trust in him and he'll make all the moves happen. You trying to do shit on your own. You trusting in this man or this woman or trusting in, you know, horses. You know, like how the scripture says, you don't want to do that. You want to trust in Yahweh about Shimei was shy. Because, see, these people don't have no trust in the Lord. They thinking that they what they're going to do is they're just going to do it. It's possible. This is our ideas. We're going to work towards it. I'm going to run for office. And, you know, the Lord going to shut all that shit down. Give them a hey, the Lord. Matter of fact, you know, put them in a trick bag. Got them thinking all this dumb shit. That's not going to succeed, that they'll probably actually the Lord will place a spirit of, of, of them bickering with each other and fuck around and delete each other and the kids. You know how to get down. You fuck around and hear about these motherfuckers deleted on the news, but they care so much about, um, um you know, uh, a rebuilding civilization with their people, so to speak. The Lord place a spirit on them to nut right up, man, and 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 and, and or just a spirit. He could send a spirit of vengeance to just, you know, flip the damn car over on the on, on the highway. Or 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 a damn house fire or whatever. Because the Lord is the one that's in control of spirits, man. He's the father of spirits, not these people. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying, Kwame Shala and the Bible Ball.